I'm Paula, welcome back to my channel. As you can probably guess by the title, today's video is gonna be about my November favorites. It's that time of the month again, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's already December. In fact, it's already the 4th of December, like what the hell? Crazy. Anyway, let's get going. So as you can probably tell, it's getting quite dark in here. I mean, it's the lightest I can make it. I really need to get myself some like proper big studio lights to like shine on my face because yeah I mean it's it's pretty dark isn't it but hopefully you can still see me and hopefully you can still see the products and yeah we, we're just going to give it a go. Starting off with I've been absolutely loving tea again this month. I kind of fell out of love with tea for a while mostly having coffee and just like cold drinks basically but I've really started to really love tea again and if you was to look into our kitchen cupboard you would think we were sponsored by pucker because we have so many different types of pucker tea, it's ridiculous. Um, but the, the two I've been really loving this month are pucker nighttime and pucker love. And they're both quite chill, they both got chamomile and lavender in, the love's got rose in as well, and the nighttime's got lime flower in. Um, they're kind of quite chilled teas, I have these in the evenings just to try and try and help me sleep. Um, they do a pretty good job of winding things, winding things down, winding me down. I love a good cup of tea, I really do. I love normal tea as well, and I, we've got all sorts of herbal teas in our cupboard and yeah but they're the two that I've been loving the most this year again isn't it where we have candles on everything's cozy if, you, if you're lucky enough to have a fireplace at home then you've got your fire on yeah I love I, I look I actually genuinely do like this time of year so for me I've been back to my candles burning candles all the time this particular one I've got is the warm apple and cinnamon one it's actually a dupe of a Yankee candle that I got from um, home bargains <laughs> they're actually really good I can't remember how much these are I'll insert on the screen now how much I paid for this because I can't remember but this is the biggest sort of size you can get this particular one is apple and cinnamon did I say that I think I did Oh, it just smells so good. But yeah, not, not just this one though, but like candles in general. I'm back to burning candles all the time. I have one on my desk all the time. I have, we have them in the lounge, I have them in the bedroom. Like yeah, I just love burning candles this time of year. I find it really cozy. I think because we don't have a real fireplace as well, like that's the nearest thing I can get. <laughs> nice. I do seem to mention a perfume because I love, 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 love perfume. If you know me in real life, you'll know that I'm just obsessed with perfume. And I will actually be doing a video dedicated to my favorite perfumes soon, but, um, um, yeah, because I, I tend to sort of reach for the same sort of perfumes in different seasons. So I'll have my favourite spring ones, summer ones, winter ones, autumn ones. Um, and this sort of time of year, I always tend to reach for like the, the deeper perfumes, if you know what I mean. Like the ones that are a bit muskier, a bit, have like a stronger smell. Um, I'm absolutely loving Angel by Thierry Mugler still, the one I mentioned in last month's video. But the one I've been reaching for towards the end of November, a bit more, and wearing it alongside Angel actually, so I've been wearing the two together, but this one I've been reaching for quite a lot. It's been in my perfume collection for absolutely years. I've repurchased it several times. I've asked for another bottle for Christmas as well because I just use it quite a lot, especially this time of year. And it's Hugo Boss Deep Red. It's such a nice smell. If you're a bit of a perfume fan like me and you find yourself spending quite a lot of money on perfume, always check allbeauty.co.uk because they have amazing discounts on perfume. I think this retails for about £50 for a um, 50ml bottle in like places like Debenhams, John Lewis, blah blah blah, you know, all the department stores, Boots, Superdrug, etc. But this this is 29.99 for 90 millilitres in on in on or beauty.co.uk. So yeah, a bargain. Check it out um for any perfume basically. But yeah, have this give this perfume a sniff when you next go into a boots or something and you're in a shop where it sells perfume. Um because it honestly it smells delicious. I'm rubbish, at, I'm rubbish at describing perfumes, my perfume um, video is going to be quite interesting, it's just going to be me like sniffing perfumes going, I love it, I love it. It's a little bit sweet, musty, musky, jasmine I'd say was in there, maybe bergamot, 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 that's just a complete guess and usually what you see in perfume. It just smells bloody good so go and check it out. Okay, bit of a weird one but I have struggled to find a hairbrush for a very long time that I really like. I've always used Tangle Teasers in the past. I do like them, they do the job to an extent, but I have really fine hair that gets really knotty. So like when I have a shower and wash my hair and stuff, it tends to get really knotty. So, and I don't tend to like using like too much conditioner because it makes it really greasy because my hair's really fine. So, I always struggle with knotty hair. Now this hairbrush is absolutely amazing. I got it from TK Maxx and it's from a brand called Carla, C-A-L-A, -A, and it's called the Wet and Dry Brush, and it's just absolutely 
lovely. Like, it really, like, I'm not gonna brush my hair now because I've just curled it and stuff, but like, it, when you brush, when you put it through your hair, it just, I don't know, like, completely detangles it without it pulling, without you getting like that really, like, where you're like that, you don't have to do that, you just go zoop, and it just detangles your hair straight away. So, if you struggle to find a hairbrush that really works for you, trust me, Wet and Dry by Carla is the brush. Quite a few different colours, I just chose the pink one because, you know, pink. Kind of going back to the theme of being like autumn, winter, getting nice and cosy, getting cold outside, you want to keep nice and warm. I have absolutely been loving wearing big, thick, cosy jumpers. As you'll know if you watch my weekly vlogs, I basically live in like a thick jumper and leggings. This one I've gotten today, I've had this a couple of years, I think this was from Dorothy Perkins, can't actually remember. Um, this one was from Dorothy Perkins. This one is, yeah, yeah, Dorothy Perkins. Just like a grey one with stars on it. Just a nice big cosy jumper. And then I've got this one from a, a shop called, oh, this was called from a shop called Apricot actually. And this one is as well, I've just remembered. <laughs> I got them both together. This is like a lighter version of what I'm wearing. So like, still nice and colourful, but like a lighter version. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't mean I just didn't, I have been loving those particular jumpers, but just in general, I've just been loving wearing big, thick, cosy jumpers. Got myself some new ones from Primark this year as well. Just, yeah, love, loving jumpers this month. Loving them. Next thing I've been loving isn't a product that I can show you as such because I don't actually have the CD of it, but it's music. And I have been obsessed with the Greatest Showman soundtrack. Now, I know I'm late to the party. It came out last year. I know I appreciate that it's taken me a whole year. I mean, I mean, no, it hasn't, that's not true. I have been listening to it before now, but for some reason, I think because it's coming around to Christmas and it just makes me feel really Christmassy because it came out last Christmas, I've just been obsessed with listening to it. I love it, I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm not gonna play you every single song, <laughs> but yeah. If you haven't checked it out before, I mean, I don't think there's many people that haven't heard the Greatest Showman soundtrack. But if you haven't, please go and listen to it because it's just so Christmassy, such good tunes, love it. Yeah, just the fact that like, they're essentially saying pretty much in every song, this is me, this is who I am, deal with it. <laughs> and I love that. I love um, so following on from music, I like to always mention something I've been watching, something I've been listening to. So Greatest Showman's what I've been listening to pretty much for the whole of November and I'm still listening to it all the time. The thing I've been watching, um, I wa I've watched quite a lot of different documentaries and bits and bobs on Netflix, I've watched a lot of YouTube. The one thing that stands out to me from last month was a show called The Lizzie Borden Chronicles which is on Netflix. Lizzie Borden is a real person. Um, she is most known for supposedly killing her dad and her stepmom back in the 19th century. So back in, I think it's in Massachusetts, Fall River in Massachusetts, in America, in the 19th century, I think it was like 1890 something, can't remember the exact date, but yeah. Look up Lizzie Borden, look up her backstory. The Lizzie Borden Chronicles on uh, Netflix essentially follow the, uh, so they kind of show the aftermath of her being acquitted for the murder of her dad and her stepmom. The murder of her um, dad and her stepmom was real, that really happened. Whether she did it or not is not, has not been confirmed. She was acquitted of those murders and like what she supposedly did afterwards, but that's all fictional. It starts Christy Christina Ricci, or Christina Ricci, I'm not sure how you say her name. She's absolutely amazing in it, she's so good. I think she's such an underrated actress, actually. Um, yeah, she's fantastic. And it didn't get very good reviews, actually. It only got one season, like it was cancelled after one season. But I think it's brilliant, like it's funny. It's got, it's got quite a lot of gore in it, but it's done in quite a nice way, a nice way. How can you do gore in a nice way? Not too squeamish or too, like, full on. Actually, that's light, it's pretty full on. <laughs> Go and check it out, Lizzie Borden Chronicles on Netflix. But before you do that, Google Lizzie Borden and find out the kind of backstory. And actually, there's a really good YouTube video from YouTube called Shauna Ray, who does amazing true crime videos, and I'll link that below. And she um, does a really good account of the Lizzie Borden kind of backstory as well. So I'll link that below and check it out if you want to. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about isn't really a product that I can show you, although I can show you it, it's just not a product. Wow, we're really making sense today, Mika, aren't we? No, we're not. Um, it's my tattoo. I kind of have to mention it, don't I? Because it definitely happened in November. Um, I've spoken about it quite a lot on my weekly vlog and I did a separate tattoo video. 
I did a separate video of me getting the tattoo. Absolutely love it. Um, I love that I can see it. That sounds silly, but like I see it a lot, obviously, because it's on my arm. <laughs> Oh, and it just really makes me smile every time I see it. It just really reminds me of that day that we had it done, which was really good fun. It's a lotus flower, and the meaning behind it is essentially that lotus flowers grow from mud. So the kind of spiritual meaning is whatever happens to you in life, however bad things get, i.e. the mud, you'll always blossom, you'll always be okay, you'll always overcome it. And I try to kind of always remember in my life is that whatever's happening at the moment, however bad things seem, however, you know, bad things have got, you're always gonna be okay. You're always gonna rise above it, and you're always gonna be okay and everything happens for a reason, and what is the saying? Things will always be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Okay, so the last item, I just had to go run and get it because I forgot to bring it down with me. I got this in the lead up to my wedding as like beauty prep for my wedding. Um, and it's the, uh, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue Cream. Now I have, I've been using this really sparingly because it's very expensive. Um, I think it's around 50 pounds. I'll put the price on the screen now so that you know the price of it. And it says on the bottom, eye cream to turn back the clock. Um, it's just lovely, I really, really love it. I, use, I just dab it under my eyes um, before I go to bed. I don't use it every night, because like I say, it's very expensive. And yeah, I, I won't be able to afford to repurchase this when it runs out. Um, but it's just so, so lovely. It smells really good, but it just really does make a difference. Like, I don't sleep particularly well. I know I mention that all the time, so I'm sorry if you're bored of, of hearing that from me. But um, yeah, I don't sleep particularly well, so I do get quite bad under eye bags and under eye wrinkles and stuff. And this definitely, definitely helps smooth it out, helps to reduce the look of it. I've noticed a difference with putting makeup on. So like before, when I would use to put under eye concealer on, it didn't really do a lot, it would get quite claggy, and you couldn't, like, you could still see that I had really big under eye bags. Um, but when I use this quite regularly, so leading up to the wedding, I, I use this like every night. It really, really does make a difference. It's really, really good. I'm not trying to like hard sell it to you because, you know, it's expensive and I appreciate that. And, you know, we haven't all got 50 pounds to go out and spend on an eye cream. I certainly haven't. <laughs> I'm just very lucky that I already owned it. Yeah, anyway, I've been loving it this month, so I thought I'd mention it. So that is my favourites for November. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my Christmassy festive background. I'm basically just sat in front of my Christmas tree. That's, that's the effort I go to on this channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Behind the scenes, Mika has just crashed her way into all the things I've just shown you. A new kind of ecstasy. A different side of me, yeah You'll find a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah.